Riverbed all clear, over. Uh, we're starting our patrol east along the canyon. North side access road, over. Copy that, Disciple 4. Finish your sweep and get back inside. Zulu team... All right, you guys, here we go. I've been waiting on this day for a very long time. Um, on my way to Best Buy to pick up Batman versus Superman in the 4K version. I've been waiting on this day since I first saw that movie. I know a lot of people probably going to disagree with me on this, but um, I kind of like the movie. Yes, it had its flaws. I didn't get to see it in IMAX, which is more the reason why I'm very eager to go get this movie. I uh, want to see what the 4K is going to look like eventually. So that day is finally here. I'm pretty happy about it. Um, like I said, not the best movie in the world. But what it did get right was Batman himself. I think the fights could have been a little bit longer. The dream sequences didn't make sense to most people. But, you know, I got it. And I also understood some of the um, Justice League cameos with the... Flash and Aquaman. I think there's some better placements for those characters that they could have used in the movie, but they didn't take advantage of it. A lot of people blame it on Snyder. Snyder's blaming it on um, WB, saying that you know they wanted this out so fast, they wanted certain things to happen that it just was a pretty much a clusterfuck of editing and pacing. Um, of course, uh, Lex Luthor could have been done a little bit better. Jesse Eisenberg to me felt a little like the Riddler a lot of people say it was kind of like he was trying to be Heath Ledger's Joker to me it was more of a Riddler type character I think he'd probably do pretty decent as the Riddler if they'd have used him that way instead but it is what it is with the movie either you loved it or you hated it I for one pretty much liked it I'm not gonna say it was great or anything like that it was probably about a seven seven and a half on my scale out of ten um, you know I'll get back to you guys after I watch it three-hour movie I want to watch some of the uh, extra footage that's in there so once I'm done with that you know we'll flash forward to that piece talk about it let you guys know how I feel then you guys can let me you know like I always say subscribe like in the comment leave comments in the comment section let me know what your thoughts were or you know anything that you can think of you want me to do better in the future want me to talk about want me to show I'm all for it when I got the time. Like I said, this is just something I do for fun. But, you know, I'll see you guys after I pick this movie up and watch it. You guys just finished watching the movie Batman vs. Superman Ultimate Edition. I can say that some of the uh, extra 30 minutes of footage did clear up some of the pacing and editing issues. Unfortunately, it didn't clear up some of the issues I had with it with introducing Justice League. I think that, um, you know... Maybe they could have used Aquaman to grab the spear out of the water and use it on Doomsday to help kill him. I guess maybe they feel like they want to wait for Justice League if they use Darkseid. I know he's the only one that can really pierce him and make him bleed. So maybe they went that route. I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of people probably didn't understand some of the sequences with showing the Justice League cameos and the um, dream sequences that Batman was having. I mean, if you go back and you watch some of the old uh, animated films, read the comic books, things like that, the graphic novel, you'll understand some of those parts. Um, I'm still pretty hesitant about Ezra Miller playing The Flash. I know there's reports of people going on um, set and saying he did a really good job. Maybe it'll surprise me like Wonder Woman did in this movie, and hopefully her movie will end up pretty good. Um, I did watch some of the... Uh, behind the scenes footage it was pretty cool to see the uh trinity um making this movie together having fun together doing it um it's pretty weird seeing them in the green screen but there's like dirt on the ground and how they pull all that together but all in all i can say it was pretty good i think before i watched it i rated it about a seven after watching it i say i'd give it about maybe a 7.5 to an eight still not the best movie a lot of issues especially with lex luther he felt more like the Riddler to me. A lot, of, a lot of people say he tried to live up to what the Joker and Heath Ledger did. But to me, it was more of um, a Riddler type character. Uh, hopefully, we don't pretty much see him again. I hope uh, we probably will. Judging by how the end went, him talking about, you know, the devil is coming, which I think he's talking about Dark Side. Um, I, I don't think they'll go the route of really bringing an Aquaman villain in. Um, if you've seen some of his stories, you know how that goes with, um, the, not 
saying the devil or anything like that, but some one of his villains, his main villains. Um, all in all, decent movie. Uh, a lot of things they could have did better. Like I said, I don't know if it was WB or DC that really pushed for certain things to go a certain way. I know, of course, Snyder's getting all the blame for it. If you've seen some of his past movies, yes, it is some of the same uh, direction. Watchmen, uh, Sucker Punch. I love those movies. Uh, I know when I went to go see Sucker Punch, a lot of people walked out of that movie because it was boring to them. But I loved it. Just watched it the other day, matter of fact. But all in all, you guys, I can say um, it was de definitely worth my money. I was waiting on it for a long time. It finally came out. Got it. Watched it. Still love it. I wish I had the Dolby Atmos uh, surround sound, but I don't. Hopefully, I'll get that one day and I can really watch it in its glory. Uh, I had to watch it digital to watch the um, Ultimate Edition. One thing I didn't know is that the 4K copy did come with um, the 4K is the one that's the Ultimate Edition without deleted scenes, the regular. The Blu-ray is the theatrical version, and the digital is the Ultimate Edition. So I'll have to wait to watch the 4K Ultimate Edition um, when I get that Xbox One S. Um, but in all, good purchase, well worth my $29.99. Uh, probably watch it again. My kids are like, are you watching it again? I'm like, no, it's just a deleted scenes. But I probably will sneak and watch it again tonight or something because it was daytime when I watched it. So I want to see it at, what it looks like at night from a further distance away. I was in my living room, which my couch is a little too close to a 55-inch screen. So I'll probably sit like further back when I watch it again. But thanks, you guys, for watching. Um, let me know how you felt about the movie in the comment section. Like, subscribe to my channel. Uh, Leave me questions, comments, concerns. Tell me what you want to do, what you want to see me do different in the future. Uh, like I said, I take this. I don't take it very serious. It's just something I do for fun. I like to play video games, watch movies, watch sports. So if anything that interests you, that interests me, let me know. And I'll try to get it on here. Peace.